your friends in Christ in Jesus. When we go through the Bible, very clearly we can see there are two kingdoms. It speaks of two kingdoms. And we cannot deny the fact that these two kingdoms are at war with each other. And when you ask what are those two kingdoms, we have to go through the gospel of Luke, the chapter 11, verses 14 onwards. We see very explicitly, very clearly it is written about the kingdom of God, that is the kingdom of Jesus, and the kingdom of devil, the kingdom of Satan. These two kingdoms are always at war with each other. We just look around the world and we can see the clear manifestations of devil at work in the world. When people who remain in hatredness, when people are disobedient, when people start accusing, murdering, it's very clear that Satan is at work, very powerfully at work in the world. And you see in the other side, there are so many saints in the Catholic Church, and there are people who live a saintly life. And on the other side, we see uh, the kingdom of Jesus also is at work. And there is always a struggle, a war that is happening between the kingdom of God and between the kingdom of devil. And this fact we need to accept. It is the question or it is the choice that is given to you and me whether I should belong to the kingdom of Jesus or whether I should belong to the kingdom of devil. And if you belong to the kingdom of God or kingdom of Jesus, it is written in the Romans chapter 14 verse 17, we read, the kingdom of God is not about food and drink, but it is of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. If you belong to the kingdom of Jesus, you will enjoy righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And when you experience, start experience the joy in the Holy Spirit, it is always you experience it always. In the struggles, you be joyful. In the difficulties, you find the peace within yourself. And whatever happens in your life, whatever struggles that you undergo, what are the difficulties that you face today, you can still be happy, you can still be joyful, you can still continue to be in the state of peace of mind if you are a part or you become part of the kingdom of God. And whereas when you become the part of the kingdom of devil, of course there is no love. The spirit of hatred is at work, the spirit of depression, the spirit of hopelessness, the spirit of uh, murder, the spirit of pride, the spirit of ego, the spirit of disobedience. All this spirit is at work when you are in the kingdom of the devil. And which kingdom do you want to belong? It's your choice and mine. And if only I belong to the kingdom of God or kingdom of Jesus, I experience the joy, peace and the righteousness of God always in my life. And that is what is uh, written very clearly. The kingdom of God, kingdom of Jesus will have no end. All other kingdoms will come to an end. Look, look at the world, long lasting kingdoms, everything has come to an end. Even the kingdom of devil will come to an end. But the kingdom of God, kingdom of Jesus will have no end. That is very clearly written in the gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 33 when you read he will rule over uh, the people of Israel and his kingdom will have no end and when you go through the book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 14 onwards you read he is a sovereign king and his kingdom can never be destroyed and his kingdom will have no end and if you become part of his kingdom you are going to enjoy a life of love, peace, and joy eternally. See? 
And you know, when you look at Jesus and his kingdom, the beauty of his kingdom, he has no territory. He has not defined the territory. Jesus uh, never told us that he is going to be part of only particular uh, state, particular language group. No. His kingdom has no territory at all. That's the beauty of his kingdom. When you become part of his kingdom, you will start enjoying the peace of mind, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now, whatever happens in your life, whatever struggles that you face, whatever the difficult situation that you are in, if you want to enjoy the real peace and happiness, joy, you have to become part of his kingdom, his kingdom, kingdom of Jesus. And if you become the kingdom of devil, of course, he will take away all your peace. And you will have no peace at all when you belong to the kingdom of devil. And he will take away all your life of uh, purity and his kingdom, his kingdom of division, his kingdom of disobedience. And when you become part of his kingdom, you have to obey the commands given by Satan. But when you become part of the kingdom of Jesus, you need to obey the commands of Jesus. And what is his command? And the greatest command of Jesus uh, is to love. When you read John, you see very clearly, it is very clearly written, he commanded us to love. And that is the only commandment that Jesus has given us, is to love God and to love one another. And if you become part of his kingdom, you really experience his love and you experience his warmth of love and you become a powerful weapon of his love. And when you accept, when you and me accept Jesus as the king and master of our life, he becomes the king of my life. And he will, of course, impart in us the kingdom of God, build in us the kingdom of God, wherein you will start enjoying the righteousness of God, the peace of God, the love of God, and joy in the Holy Spirit, only if you accept Jesus as your king. And he finds place in your heart. And you should keep open your heart to Jesus so that you take Jesus as your king king of your heart and you know the tremendous joy that you are going to experience the tremendous love of God that is going to flow in your heart is marvelous we cannot explain and I pray I pray for everyone that you and me as we are expecting Jesus to come into our heart through the season of Advent and the celebration of Christmas. It is yours and mine and it is our duty to accept Jesus as our King and the King of our heart. May the Holy Spirit guide you. May the Lord Jesus and the love of Jesus strengthen you to follow him and take every moment of your life decision to be part of his kingdom. God bless you. Amen.